Hello everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series. This time we'll talk about the placeholder. Actually, the placeholder is just similar to the uh, variable, but every time when you use the placeholder, you will do the fitting process. That to say, for every time the placeholder, the, the, the value that they hold is a different value. Uh, for example, uh, for example, I would define the placeholder first, then to fit the placeholder later when I when I when I was doing training. So import TensorFlow STF and just input de de define the input one. Input one is equal to TF dot placeholder. tf dot float 32 as I mentioned before the default type of tensorflow is float 32 because if you run other types like int 32 or float 64 or float 16 uh, there will be some error showing in your program that uh, just make sure because the, the, the most of the time the tensorflow are using the float 32, so you just use float 32 everywhere in your TensorFlow code. Plot, uh, I, I define another one, input 2 is just another placeholder. In this example, we don't have any shape for the placeholder, but in your example, you could define the shape. If, if, for example, it's a two column, two row shape for the input one, or two column, two, two rows, two column shape for the pl uh, placeholder one. But in this example, we just ignore this shape. And uh, the output is just like uh, multiply operation, just input 1 times input 2 when we're going to pass the value into the placeholder is once we define after we define the session so with the tf dot session as session we have defined the session so now we can uh, use session the run to run this output operation by run this output we must give the output um, two values one for input one one for input two because the output constant the input one input two which is a placeholder so we should pass the uh, value for these two by using fit dictionary equals to this one is just like Python dictionary so you have to define the key input one for the for, uh, as the key for input one and the value for input one so for example seven and uh, the value the key for input two and the value for input two maybe two so they will they will pass the uh, 7 into the placeholder 1 and pass the value 2 into the placeholder 2 and do the output operation for you and then we just print this result for this re, uh, the output so down that is 14 right 2 times 7 is 14 so this is for today's tutorial, it's a fairly easy one, uh, but it's really useful when you do the placeholder later on in other examples. Uh, so make sure you understand what is placeholder and what is different between placeholder and the variable. So next time we're going to talk about the activation function in neural network. Uh, it's not only in TensorFlow, it's also in the neural network. It's very important part for uh, understanding that. So, hope you will like that and please subscribe for more updates of TensorFlow or other machine learning problems. Uh, so, see you next time. Bye.